probably the hardest type of problem solving that we're gonna be dealing with, just because the properties that we're using are a little bit more hidden. Definitely, I can say because it's a rectangle, I know that all of the angles are right angles. So if I have a 40 degree angle for ABE, angle CBE would have to be the remaining 50 degrees. And because my opposite sides are parallel to each other, I know that my alternate interior angles would be congruent, which gives me another 50. And then 40 would give me my 40 over here using my second pair of parallel lines. But then it seems like we're kind of stuck because there wouldn't be any special angle pairs allowing us to get to figure out how the 90 was being divided. But this is where we have to be creative and think, what do I know about all of the triangles in here? Now, I do know that the large triangles formed by an individual diagonal are going to be right triangles. But in this case, the right triangles aren't going to be the key either. What is the key? are these four individual triangles that are formed by both diagonals. Because in a rectangle, I know that the diagonals are all congruent to each other, which means that BD is equal to AC. And because a rectangle is a special parallelogram, I know that the diagonals bisect each other. So if I take two sticks that are the same length and I break both of them exactly in half, that means that all four of these smaller sticks that are formed are going to be congruent to each other. So BE, EC, ED, and AE are all congruent. And if I look at a single triangle that has a pair of congruent sides, like this one up here that contains the angle that I'm trying to find, I know that if two sides are congruent, the angles opposite those sides are congruent. So if I have a 50 degree angle here, I also have a 50 degree angle over here. And now if I really wanted to, I could find the measure of every other angle up here. Um, I'd have my two 40s, 40 and 40 is 80, leaving me with 100 degrees for my third angle. Here, I have another isosceles triangle, giving me 80 degrees in the middle. Here, my final um, isosceles triangle, giving me 100 might have an 80 in there. So every single rectangle will always contain four isosceles triangles.